shit. Hello, my geeky guys, guys. Welcome back to another Subnautica. I'm your host, Mass Geek. I've found it. I found the Holy Grail. I've got the. What is it called? The fire suppression system. Finally got it. This sub is a smoke free zone now. I finally found it. I don't know why the developers didn't put it in in the previous update, but now it's finally here. And I got that son of bitch in. No, I don't, because I need to build it. But I got the blue paint. <laughs> Never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Fire suppression system. I've already made myself an advanced wiring kit. Uh, that's back of the base. I need to pick that up. I need to get some mercury ore and sulf sulfur. Silver. Silver. Silver surfer. And I don't have that at this particular base. So, am I going to need to go back and get that shit? But, am I thinking that maybe all that stuff is at the Lost River base, which is where I need to go to anyway? So, that's going to be my intended target. Well, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go there... But before I do, I'm going to show you where I picked up the fire suppression system from. Now that I've got the advanced wiring kit. Oh, I thought I picked up two then. Never mind. Cool. I'm fine. So first I'm going to just show you where I found a fire suppression system. And it was really peculiar to me is that it wasn't there in previous builds, but now it is. Now, one thing that you'll see right now is you won't see this in your update if you're not playing the experiment here we go here here cups again sorry about that this is what you won't see in your build if you're not playing the experimental version like i am right now it's been updated with the sun uh, running update but since then it's had a few more updates since then so now you get this little graphical interface about what you need to click to be able to perform a certain action so that's kind of cool i like that so, hopefully, if I can remember pretty quickly, I'm going to make my way to where I found the fire suppression system. It's in the f underwater floating islands biome, and it was in the wreck there. I just need to remember where to go precisely to get back to where it was. If I'm she knows what I mean. Now, it probably would have been better if I waited until daytime so I could see things better, but, eh, que sera, sera. So I'm not going to do a jump cut on this one because you're going to have to see, you know exactly where I'm going. So we're there kind of already. There's one of the islands. Now I just need to locate the big wreck again. It shouldn't be that too far away. It's not that deep down. There we go. Or was it? No. That's just another island. I thought I just saw Spickelsparks. Nope. I was mistaken. But we've got to find the wreck here. That's going too far. That's the blood kelps. This is a big thing, so maybe the wreck should be on here. But the data box was actually inside. Can you fuck off, please, wherever you is? You're over there. Okay, you're out of the way. Cool. I ain't got no time for that. So the wreck should be... Somewhere up around here. Um, is that it? I don't recall being on the island with the floating rocks on there. I could be wrong. But it's definitely inside the wreck. Ah, there we go. There's the wreck. So this is the wreck that you need to find. And the place I went, went into was this side door here. And they've closed it off again. You go away, you little asshole. Right, so, I'm going to put my smoth down here. Hopefully, it's going to be protected. Now, like I said, this door should have been open. It might be, again, because of all the updates that's been pushed through by the developers. So, they're constantly reclosing everything so that the data boxes actually spawn in properly. I don't know. But we came in here, well, I came in here, straight to the one over here, and it was this box. This was the box that it was in, the fire suppression system. And if I recall last time, that box was a shield. It was just dumb. 
Or was it that box? It was one of these two boxes anyway. So come to the underwater islands, Rick. And it's either going to be that box. Or it's going to be the box in there. Either one of those two. That's where the fire suppression system should be. So, at least now with that in mind. I've got the advanced wiring kit. Which is one of three materials needed. I just need the sofa and mercury ore. Two items which I do know at least I've got at the deep grand reef base. So, I'll see you over there at our base. Yeah, i got some mercury ore in this base. The sofa's down here. So how much do I need then for fire suppression systems? So one mercury or two so far. I can only make the one. But we'll do uh, one mercury or no, one mercury or and two so far. And then there'll be no smoking aboard my vessel. And yeah, build it on the sub, not in here, you gink. Wrong fabricator. There's me trying to make myself look good and cool and proper and all geek-like and I'm not going to the right freaking fabricator to make the thing work, so... Yeah, whatever. Also offline as well. Uh, fuck. I built five fucking decoy things and then saved it. I'm sure I saved it. I'm sure I put five in. I did save it. I, I built five decoy, creature decoy things, these things, and sh stuck them all in here. And they've all gone, apart from one. I saved that son of a bitch. There must be a bug there. Oh, well, never mind. Still got one main thing is I've got the fire suppression system considering then that ooh, it's going to take out a lot of space right never mind considering then that at least yeah because look how many batteries I've, I've used up because it takes battery um, three titanium and something else to make a creature decoy I can't remember now but it takes that and I had about five or six batteries in this locker and I've, I've used all but one building them and it's not saved them. I mean, I'm not overly despondent about it, but it would have at least been nice that it saved them all properly, the way that a save game should actually work. Get over there, you geek. And then, fire suppression system. There we go. So it's, it's like it's got a little icon of a vent next to the fire, so I wonder if that's how it does it. It just gets rid of all the f um, oxygen. I don't know. Now I know that I wanted to search the Aurora as well, but I really want to test out this fire suppression system and the best way I know how to do that is by going down into the lava zone where all the fucking nasty ass creatures. Oh cool, it's there, it doesn't do it automatic. Awesome. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Just for the old safety's sake then, I'm going to close everything up. Close you, close you. And go to the lower deck and close all the doors down there. Because then it should at least be contained if and when I do have a fire. And I want to actually try it. Oh, all the doors are closed anyway. Cool. So that's what I want to try and do. I wonder what it sounds like. Let me just save it now. I wonder what it sounds like already. Okay. Flashing blue lights. It's the police. Oh, it's locked. Oh. That must mean then it must automatically close all the doors inside the sub so that it locks out each and every single compartment for each in the sub. And then it drains the oxygen from it to be able to contain it. And it cycles it for quite a bit. Understandable, it'll take a fair bit of power to do it. Let me, let me just. Oh, you can't. Recycles. Is there a, another thing on the HUD? Nope. So if I get a fire, it's all there. So this is the damage and fire information system. Wait. Don't tell me that's one use. 
Do not be telling me that is just one use. Nah, it's still there. Good. Alright. Leave the doors open then. Let's try it again. Right, I'm going to time it and see how long it takes for it firstly to do the cycle and then do the recharge afterwards. So, like that. Neutralization system active. And boom. Yeah, look, it closes all the doors. Oh, that's awesome. So let's see how long it actually runs the cycle for. Good thing about my stopwatch thing is it's a dual display, which is cool. So I can run one and then run the other and keep both times on the display at the same time. I love this thing. I wonder if it'll open the door afterwards or automatic as well. Yep, it does. So its activation is basically 30 seconds. I wonder how long it's going to actually be for the actual cooldown time. There we go, it finally came up. 2 minutes and 45 seconds for that to reactivate. So you've got a 30 second use time, which is this top one here. I know it says 31, but I was a bit slow on pressing the stop button. So it's a 30 second run time and 2 minute 45 second cooldown time before you can use that thing again. So, nice to have in a pinch, but with that kind of cooldown time. I won't trust my life on it. I'd trust your life more on the shield thing that you got over here. If you ever come under attack by uh, any creatures that can shoot hairy hair, fire hairballs at you, it's best to use that as best as you can. And if you do get a fire on board, just fucking hightail it out there so, somewhere, get yourself nice and safe, then activate your fire suppression system, and while that's cooling down, repair any damage to your Cyclops. That's my best bet as to how things are going to be. And the only best way to test that, as I say, is to go down back into the lava zone and test it. Now, I did say last time as well that I'm going to recheck Aurora. I'm going to do that. I might as well just go down back into the lava zone through the Lost River. I'm going to check out the primary, uh, no, the disease facility, see if there's anything in there that's changed. I'm going to check out um, the lava thermal castle thing. A thermal plant, just in case anything's different on that. Probably not. And then, if not, then I'm going to make my way back up through that exit. That, that'll take me back to the bow of the Aurora. The fucking Reaper Leviathan's there. And then, I'll to be checking out the Aurora again. So, I don't know if there's going to be anything new in this episode, really, in all honesty and all fairness, but... Yeah, okay, so that's all right. We'll see. And it's going to be fun. Squeezing my big fat ass down here. And just before we go, I actually better take some more water with me, just in case. I got the foods. I just need the H2Os. Who oh, is there? He's there. No, ah, no. He actually attacks the sub now. Whoa! Dude, that's not cool. At least it doesn't do anything to the shield. Oh, fuck. Here goes another one. It drains the energy of the fucking sub. Will you go away, man? Please just go the fuck away. Ah, oh, the noises. I do and I don't miss this. There's those fucker bone of shit face fish things. Oh, just go away. Just go away. Just go away. Just go away. Stop spinning your head right round, right round, like a record baby, right round, right round. Okay. I'm here. So I'm gonna save it. I ain't gonna do silent running because I want to see the fire take effect. Mind you, if it, get, if it takes effect to the ass end, I'm not gonna see it being extinguished. Yeah, well, if it happens, it happens. If it done, it done. But I just want to see this system in effect. Yeah, fire suppression system ain't gonna do much good if you ain't got no fucking hole to contain yourself in. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're there. You're there. So, 
How come you're not see showing up on my HUD? Did I just kill you as well? Where's he gone? Yeah, <laughs> I killed him as well. Oh, Jesus. Right, what's the dabblage? Not bad. Only a little bit. That's not too bad, actually. Jesus. Here was my ass. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna cause a fire. Then again, if they get the health right low, they might do. Fire! Fire! We've got ourselves a fire! We got ourselves a fire, people! Fire neutralization. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I managed to see it. So it doesn't show you exactly how it extinguishes it. But I would imagine that it would either blow really cold suppressant in because fan extraction on it on its own just won't do it that won't do it but fucking hell they're gonna actually destroy my sub while I'm okay here we go here we go right time to back off time to back off I'm gone nice to know you guys hey you can fuck off seriously I was like, yeah, 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 you've got to tap that, yeah? That's fine, fine by me. If, if any of you have heard, um, I can't remember its, it's exact terminology, but if you think of a triangle, and inside that triangle you've got the fire, you need to have that triangle intact for the, for the fire to continue. And to have that fire intact, each of the three sides of the triangle represents fuel, heat, and oxygen. You take away the fuel, obviously the fire dies out. You take away the oxygen, there's no combustion. Again, fire dies out. No heat, nothing to sustain it. So again, the fire... Oh, hiccup, shut up. Again, the fire dies out. So you got that triangle and the fire little inside. You take just any one of those away, you can stop that fire and a fan extraction on its own will just not suffice. Actually, you know, I'm gonna get power off. Get all these blood, well, not blood suckers, but energy suckers off my hull. Do I have enough, yeah, I do have enough space for you. Uh, I gotta make it to the other side, because that is where it's got the entrance down to the lower part where my base is, so I can go and resupply. So I do need to resupply, otherwise I ain't gonna make it on my way back out, and even if I do, I ain't gonna have the supplies to search you over. What the hell? Whoa, whoa! Dude! Not cool! Whoa, son! He made a. Ah! Uh, no, 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 uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Uh -uh. Fuck me! Why? Why? Is he still after my ass? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Where's my dabblage? Just a tiny little bit. And I think I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna keep it here, it's gonna ma make a nice marker. Hope from my tiny little scrawny ass. Oh wait, no, I can take the prawny suit. I can do that. Take the prawny suit to get there and bring it back. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, my way through this. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's there. I just land on the ground. Get the thrust back. He's just doing his dance over there. He's auditioning for some nautica's got talent. Okay, he's finished his routine, so I'm off. I'm going the wrong way. I am most definitely going the wrong way. Ooh, that's still too close for my liking. 
Oh, shit. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Uh. The fuck? Ooh, he's got me. The hell? Okay, I'm flying. Uh, get down, get down, get down. What the, this freaky just coming straight out of the lava like that. Okay, I'm just gone. Where's my base? It's over there. I just go. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. I have never been so scared in this game before in my life. Just get up, get up, get up. Here he comes. Oh, you missed. Okay, just do it. Get that, get that, get it. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay. That were not fun. Yeah. I did... L Look at these. I left all these down here like when I left my base last time. Definitely taking those out, son of bitches, with me again. Did I bring... I brought the artifacts. Yeah, I did. I brought the artifacts down here as well. I don't need any of that. Uh, no, I'm going to leave them in there. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Get in, get in. Ah, ha, ha, fuck! Oh, boy! Whoa, boy! Holy nelly, boy! Woo, woo, woo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool. That's not cool. Oh, I'm going to fall into the lava. Shit, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, jeez, ease, ease, ease. <coughs> okay. He does not want me down here. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I am off. I am skiddling. I am scaddling. I am not spelunking. You are the best captain on the planet. I'm not the one who's external hull damage detected. Thanks? I was the best captain? I don't know what you were going to say bef after that, but it talked about external hull damage then. The fuck was that? I mean, way to go on playing with my ego. Top notch Cyclops do, but they were awesome. Going. I'm uh, just going. I'm not sticking around here no more. No, no way, not no how. I know. I more than know this little fact of life. Well, I'm out of the worst of it now, which is good. Fucking hell, that was frightening. That is the worst. I do not want to get that close to the sea dragon ever again. I rather like my life, thank you very much, game. It's what keeps me going. <laughs> so much for this not being a not a horror game. Oh, it's terrifying though. I've really not even used the decoy yet. I don't think I was in a major peril enough to authorize its use. Considering that it takes quite a bit of resources to build it, and I lost four of it, four of them already, so I ain't gonna use it. Then what I'll do is, once I've scoured the river again, come back out. I'm just gonna find some threat. Well, I'm gonna save, then find some threat, and then end the video to see how it goes, because then I can reload back into it and still have it without having to build another one. Okay, I think we're out of Reaper danger. Let's just get in here. I'm pretty sure that Aurora's gotten bigger. Well, at least they fixed this to the point where we can enter it again. Last time, you couldn't even enter it. Storage module. Fast cycle. Um. Ah, oh, yeah. And it's prawn compatible. I didn't know that. Okay, now supposedly we're here now in the crew quarters. That this door here you can unlock with one eight six nine.
But this one, it doesn't have any coding, and supposedly behind this door, not only is a little model of Ura available that you can pick up, but there's also the blueprint for a rocket of some kind for you to escape the planet with. I don't know whether it's been fully implemented as of yet, mainly because we now know from the storyline what we've got to do is we've got to cure ourselves from the Karar. By doing that, we need to get the DNA off the Sea Emperor once that gets finally implemented, splice up a new DNA cocktail, swig it down with an after eight mint, and then once we're cured, then we can escape. So it wouldn't really matter right now if the rocket was fully implemented because chances are the gun is fully, um, um, the precursor gun, shall I say, is fully implemented. That might still shoot you down. Instant game over, man. Bad karma. So I bet we've got to go in there. That's the end game blueprint we need. And then we've got to transfuse ourselves with the Sea Emperor and get ourselves off this planet once and for all. When this game fully comes out, I really do hope that you get an official soundtrack to this as well. This music is fucking banging, man. I do hope as well that adopters of the early access game, like me, they get um, free access or free download of the official soundtrack. That'd be awesome. Please, developers, make that happen. Everyone that's got a copy of the early access version right now, before full release, let us have the official soundtrack. I'll fucking download this to my phone and listen. Well, actually, I'll download it to my iPad because I listen to music more on that than anything else. But that'd be so cool. Well, there wasn't anything new in a row, or no data boxes or anything like that, and nothing at all to, to scavenge. I mean, I did find a whole crap ton of more batteries, presumably from supply crates that I haven't opened before. But, yeah, right now, Aurora, nothing new in there. So, any of you playing it, don't matter whether you're playing experimental or safe, if you've been in Aurora before, no need to go back in it again just right now because there's no need for it. Okay, time for a little bit of light-hearted reading now. Now, clearly, I'm not sure exactly where I picked these logs up from because it has been three even more videos back. Hi, Warper. You ain't no fit while I'm in here, you dick. So I don't know exactly where I picked these up from. And just to get them cleared out, I'm just going to read these right now. So first I've got Bart Toggle. So Bart Toggle, the one I think that is um, Floating Island, the big Floating Island. I messed up badly this time. It's been two days since what happened. We never should have left this island. Kill all it. I shouldn't have listened to them. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us. I knew it, and I didn't say. I couldn't. I could see it, and they couldn't. And now they're stuck down there, and I'm up here alone. I deserve this. I oh, so they got split up. So Bart stayed on the base on the island, while his parents went down to the undersea base before he got attacked by Reaper of Thyphon. Ooh, spoopers. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. You told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what we got some six weeks later? Most of the crew did a pile of dirt in our front yard, front room. Rain coming in through the windows. Food destroyed. I suppose you, with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face, you'd make a much better captain. I know I'd start not by taking under unscheduled detours by... Let me read that again. Can't England write today. I know I'd start by not taking unscheduled detours by alien water worlds. That's something you never want to learn the hard way. Let's hear it then. What's your plan? I have a site scout scouted out. It's a cave, a couple of hundred meters down. Lots of lith lithium deposits, good for building. How do you imagine we'd live? I figured two water filters would keep the three of us going. We could build a bioreactor to cover the power. Chief, we'll eat, sea Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad if that's what it takes. Or you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. So, which one was that? Uh, da, 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 uh, still the I Oh, yeah, because this is... Yeah, the, um, Paul and Marguerite. They're the parents of uh, Bart. 
So they're still on the island. Gotcha. Public documents. Okay, the Altera Arms Pamphlet. Alterans are rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. It's nice having the warp in the background as well, just swimming by. Oh, you can see his insides pumping away. We're well, not going to see it now. I love this fact, this little observation thing. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Alterra Arms is a training academy for those in need. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as philanthropic beneficiaries. Don't do these big words to me, man. It's too late at night. A philanthropic beneficiaries filiation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. AA operates on a lottery system. By investing any number of credits, you'll be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpreter interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge, on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. The joy of capitalism is that everybody wins. In the unlikely event that we're unable to complete training, that colonist is released without charge or contracts back out into the world. Yeah, I'm sure that really would happen. More like a dictatorship wrapped up in corporate elitism. Do this, get some good investments, but ultimately, you're the one that gets screwed over while we pocket the coin. That's the basic premise of things. The Charter. Definitions. Transgov. An independent authority in a de facto control of at least one solar system and phase gate. Citizen. A person who consents consciously or implicitly to the authority of a recognised transgov. The Charter. The full legal contracts agreed upon by 30 separate, 37 separate transgovs and summarised herein. The Trans Systems Federation. Military police charged with enforcing the terms of the Charter, independent of, but funded by the Transgovs. Trans Systems Phase Gate. Any permanent installation which enables warping of spacefaring vessels between solar systems. Transgov Principles. Each Transgov is to have an equal right to the most extensive basic liberty compatible with a similar, with a similar liberty for others. <laughs> I love that warper. It's like my pet now. Each transgov has an obligation to share phase gate access with other transgovs on equal terms. Each transgov has an obligation to financially maintain and comply with the TSF. Each transgov has the right to self-governance, subject to the restrictions laid out below. No transgov may develop weapons and technologies outlawed in Appendix 91. No transgov shall engage in population abuse. So this is why we don't actually have weapons then. I mean, because all the, what we've got here are tools, it's like dead space. Instead of a laser cutter, we've got the propulsion cannon, or the laser cutter. I know the, the, what I've just said there, the two set, separate things, but in dead space, you've got the laser cutter, which can rotate at 90 degrees, so you've got um, a lengthways cutting beam or a vertical cutting beam, that laser cutter, and then you've got the, um, the laser cutter in this game as well, the design for cutting, the design for industrial use, they're not designed as weapons, but they can be weaponized so the situation arrives. That is why we don't have actual de facto weapons. Awesome. Togo Corporation is a long-standing family-run business that operates mostly a dozen mining and trading organizations, operations even. I told you, I can't England write too many big words and it's too late for me. The company share price hit an all-time high on the announcement by a cabal of Mongolian interests of their intention to construct a new phase gate utilising Togo materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart Togo, the intended leader of the new mining operation, disappeared along with his father. They went spelunkering. Plants your geology. Oh, the sandstone ones. Okay. These common porous outcrops seem to form around small amounts of precious metals or otherwise these metals are part of a sedimentary build up over time. Silver and gold source. Okay so that's all the logs we've now finally read. 
Uh, we don't need to worry about those anymore. So the next episode, my geeky guys and gals, what I'm going to do offline is I'm going to do some more uh, copper searching. So I've got a piece of hair stuck in my little um, Fitbit. Yeah, my hair. I'll do some copper mining off screen so you don't see, uh, see me waste my time with that. I'm going to locate some danger in the Cyclops and see how well the decoy operates on that. I know I said I'll do it in this video, but it has run along enough as it is already and I don't want to run it along any further. So that's what I'm planning to do on the next video. Um, providing how many updates get pushed through in the ex experimental build, I'll see what else I can do topside, but I might also go back down into the lava zone. I might take some purple artifacts with me as well and see what else I can uncover. I doubt I'll be able to uncover anything at all because right now the updates that get pushed through in experimental mode are more like the visual updates and a few little bug fixes here and there. It's not until the major updates that come through, that's when things change and those are likely about 200, 300 megabytes in size or just shy of one gigabyte if you're playing in the safe mode version. So I'll see what I'll do. I might just dick around, pick a few fights with alien life forms again and see where we go from there. I get so pissed off with the hiccups. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, my geeky guys and guys. Do all that good YouTube stuff. Like if you like it, dislike if you don't. If you want to have your voice heard, smack a comment down below. If you want to know when the next video is coming out, smack the subscribe button down there. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be part of the notification squad. And you'll be notified when the next video is coming out. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye. For now. Who's the best captain in the game? I am. My Cyclops said so. So don't you hear us anything different.